Hello everyone, it's another math adventure with Sir V, Ian Viloria, bringing numbers to life, one lesson at a time. Okay, magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. So, it, nagbabalik po muli si Sir Ian. So, ngayong gabi, ang ating topic is problem solving involving horizontal distance between two points. So, this is grade 8 mathematics second grade second grading topic so we have objectives for this lesson first find the horizontal distance between two points in a Cartesian plane second solve real problems involving horizontal distance between two points and determine points that have the same horizontal distance giving a point in the Cartesian plane and it's this Okay, let's have a short review. So when you say Cartesian plane, it has two number lines. The x-axis, this is the horizontal, and the y-axis, the vertical. So ito yung topic natin ngayon, which is the uh, x-axis. Okay, horizontal. A point is written as an ordered pair. So, X and Y yung gagamitin natin. Because some authors, they're using A and B or any letters in the alphabet. But commonly, ang gagamitin, gagamitin natin is X and Y. So, X, ang movement niya is left or right. So, ganyan lang. Okay, left and right. Si Y naman, ang movement niya is okay, up and down lang siya. For example, we have this one. We plot 3 and 2. So, ang gagawin natin, kasi, C3 is representing X, C2 naman is representing Y. So, move 3 units to the right. So, if this is our Cartesian plane, Move 3 units to the right from the origin. So, move 3 units to the right. Then, 2 units up. So, therefore, this is our okay, plot, which is 3 and 2. So, again, move 3 units to the right and 2, two units up from the origin. Okay. So, where is this located? Saan ito makikita? Anong quadrant? Okay, to find the coordinates of a point, drop perpendiculars from the point to the x-axis and y-axis. The values where it lands give the ordered pair x and y. Example, a point lies 4 units left and 5 units up. So, ang coordinates natin are negative 4 and 5. Kasi you're referring on the ano eh, on the example. Example, ha? Ang point natin lies 4 units left. So, from the origin, okay, from the origin, 4 units, 1, 2, 3, 4, left from the origin. So, left, itong left. And, 5 units up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, dapat mauna palagi ang X kaysa kay Y. Itanda lang natin because in the alphabet, always mauna ang X bago ang Y. Tama? Okay. So, therefore, this is our answer. So, the coordinates are negative 4 and 5. Okay. Pag-usapan natin yung ating absolute value. So, we are done with this. Nung grade 7 kayo. So, the meaning of the absolute value. Okay. This is a number. So, it is a distance from 0 to a number line. Ang symbol niya ganito. Okay, absolute value. 
So, meron siyang dalawang uh, line. Ngayon, ang nasa gitna is A. Ang A dyan, it is representing a number. Example, this one. Negative 7. Absolute value of negative 7 is equivalent to 7. Look at 7. Negative man yun, sir. Okay. So, mamaya, explain ko. 5. Absolute number value of 5. So, bakit 5? Ito, sir, negative 7. Bakit naging 7? Ito, sir, 5. Bakit naging 5 pa rin siya? Okay. So, on the plane, absolute values help in finding distances. Pag sinabi na yung absolute value, distance is always positive. Bakit siya positive? Kasi we are referring on the distance kung gaano siya kalayo from the zero. Example, ito, negative 7. Gaano siya kalayo from zero? So, 7 units. Ito, positive 5. Gaano siya kalayo sa zero? So, 5 pa rin. Alright? We are referring on the distance. So, always positive. Example, the distance between 2, 3, and 2, negative 1 is 3 minus negative 1. Alright? That is the absolute value of 4. Okay? So, 4 units. So, today, we will learn how to calculate horizontal distances on a coordinate plane. This will help us apply math in solving problems related to positioning, mapping, and design. But before that, let us unlock first the vocabulary. When we say horizontal distances or distance, so distance measured along the x-axis between two points with the same y-coordinate. So, today we are focusing on the horizontal or the x-axis. Absolute value, the distance of a number from zero. So, always positive because we are looking on the distance. Kung gaano siya kalayo mula sa zero. Ordered pair. So, we are using x and y. So, ulitin ko ulit. Some books are using a and b, m and y and other letters in the alphabet. So this is only a notation for representing a point. Consider two points, x sub 1 and x sub 2, y. So we are uh, focusing only on x or the horizontal. So ang y natin, kayaan natin yan. So dito muna tayo sa x. Since the y values are the same, the distance depends only on the x-axis. The horizontal distance formula is d is equivalent to the absolute value of x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Okay, this is our formula. So, x sub 2 ang mauna minus x sub 1 to get the distance or the units. Example number one, find the horizontal distance between 2, 5, and 3, and negative 3, and 5. So as you observe, 2 is the x sub 1. Okay, ito yung ating x sub 1. Two is our x sub 1. Uh, negative 3 is our x sub 2. x sub 2. So, therefore, if you're going to apply the formula, so this is our formula. So, 2 minus negative 3 is equal to units. Another, a person is at 4. 2 Another person is at 10 and 2. Find the horizontal distance. Apply the formula. 10 minus 4. So, x sub 2 minus x sub 1. x sub 2 minus x sub 1. 
x sub 2 minus x sub 1 that is 10 minus 4 is units so answer challenge giving a point a so 3 and 4 find all possible points that are 6 units horizontally always from a kindly comment your answers below So, for generalization, the horizontal distance between two points is the absolute difference of their x coordinates. Points that are the same horizontal distance away from a given point lie on the same horizontal line. So, this is the same y value. Alright, so let's have try to practice this one. So, you can solve this one. Sa ating papel, kung may papel kayo dyan sa bahay or sa notebook, especially sa mga estudyante, you can try to answer this one. We find the horizontal distance between negative 3, 7 or negative 7, 3 and 5 and 3. Number 2, point is a, a point is located at 2 and 6, which points are 8 units away horizontally. So, you can use the Cartesian plane for this one. Number three, so a car moves from negative 4, 7 to 9, 7. What horizontal distance did it travel? Okay, so as you observe, pwede natin gamitin ito. You can use that one in real life situation. So, you can solve this one sa papel. And then, try to Comment your answer below para makita natin kung tama ba. Okay. So, I hope you will learn something new today, especially to our grade 8 students. Um, pasensya na po sa process. Uh, I am making this video as um, ano lang, pampa wala ng stress. Hobby lang. Okay, so meron tayong homework. So, i-post nyo na lang itong video and then try to practice this one para sa ating mga math enthusiasts dyan. So, thank you so much for your listening. I hope may naintindihan sa bagong lesson natin. So, please like and subscribe. Okay. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. So, ang mag-like and subscribe ay gagaling sa mathematics. Toto yan. But, kung gusto yung gumaling talaga, you need to practice, practice, practice. Again, so this is Sir Ian Viloria or Sir V. Follow me on my Facebook and YouTube account. Sa muli, daghang salamat.